Hey guys, I, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been on here much. I, if you all can't tell by my voice here, I've had laryngitis or something akin to it the last couple of days, and I've just been trying to tough it out instead of um, instead of take more medicine and go to the doctor again because it seems like we've been at the doctors enough for other things, as you all know. But um, but I was thinking about a vision that I had had back in November of 2016, and um, I don't have a lot of visions. I've, I've only had um, a handful of them really in my whole life. And um, up until I really started doing my videos a couple of years ago, had only had a couple. And, and now henceforth, I've had a couple of more. But, um, but this is from November of 2016. And what I did was I drew it out for you guys to illustrate it. Because I know that there's been some talk about Purim and about the fact that there's going to be a full moon, potentially even a super moon during that time. And, uh, and I know it's not coming up here until I believe someone had said it was the 18th or 19th. So I know we've got about 10 or 12 days before that happens. But, um, but this is the best way that I could illustrate it. Plus like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of out of, out of the habit of guess of doing any kind of artwork. Um, my sister was always better at that than I am, but, um, but I just thought that you guys would enjoy the illustration and, and that perhaps you could picture the scene, but it was a very short vision, probably from start to finish. It was no more than 10 seconds. And what it was, was it, I saw a city skyline just like this and it was at night and there was the big full moon hanging up in the sky, really serene and beautiful. Um, you know, just like it is in this picture. Now, whether it was a full moon or not, I mean, a, a super moon or not, I don't know. I just know that it was a, a full moon and, um, but it, it did look rather large and, and, you know, what they call a super moon now, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. But, um, the reason I'm mentioning it now is because I feel like it's time, um, to share it now, because I know a lot of our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ have had, um, dreams or visions about, destruction or something coming to New York. And, um, and as well, the Bible speaks about, um, you know, mystery Babylon and, uh, Babylon, the greatest fallen and, and, oh, you know, who was like that great city that, um, you know, that, that waxed all the, the merchants rich. And I, and I know that it, it speaks of that in Jeremiah 16, nine, it says, and the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the merchant and the voice of the bride and the bridegroom shall be gone. And, um, and also in revelation chapter 18, um, it speaks that the, uh, the voice of the bride and the bridegroom will cease and, um, and the voice of the merchant and, and the, the buyer and the seller. And it speaks of things like that. And I'll let you guys go and read that on your own. But in essence, it says that, um, that she will be destroyed because the merchants, um, were the great men of the, of the earth and, by their sorceries were all the nations deceived. And so not only did they wax rich upon her delicacies, um, but also the evils that she uh, put forth into the world. And, and as, as of course, most of us have had our eyes on New York the last several days as it pertains to the, um, uh, the abortion laws and how they've changed it to where even to the point of where a woman is in labor that she can make a decision then even to abort her baby as long as it's not been um, delivered through the birth canal. So um, I know it's rather shocking to a lot of us, um, even people who are proponents of um, women having abortions for various reasons would have to agree that it's rather shocking to to think of a woman that's say 10 centimeters dilated and about ready to push out a baby, actually making that decision to abort a life like that. Um, I, I just don't see how it's any different than walking up to a newborn baby that's say a week old and, and putting a gun to its head, you know, and even most people that, like I said, that believe in abortion, it's just, it's so gruesome to even think about it or contemplate. And yet at the same time, it's that way from the moment of conception as well. But, um, but I think that even more so that that's a reason to share this vision because I'm not sure if it was the city skyline of New York, but it looked very similar to that. Um, I suppose that before the Twin Towers were destroyed, that it was easier to see that city skyline and what it is, but it did look like a large city. And, um, 
And that's all I am really for sure about, because I know that we're not supposed to add or subtract. But in either case, if you all can picture the scene for two or three seconds, I saw the big full moon hanging up in the sky and uh, and the skyline and looked like a big city. And all of a sudden it panned down. And what I saw was explosions, big white explosions on the ground. And I could hear people or not hear, but I could see the people running away from them. And um, I do not know whether they were missiles, whether they were meteors, what they really were, because I never got to see them actually fall from the sky. I just saw them exploding on the ground um, and big white flashes coming out from them. And so I tried to portray that as best I could. I know I've got a um, an art style similar to like comic books or something like that, but um, maybe at least you all could picture the scene. And then after that, for a few seconds, it flashed right back up to the big full moon hanging in the sky and um, and it just ended it ended with that big full moon. So it, to me, it looked like some type of a night attack or a night event. Um, like I said, whether it's missiles or whether it is, um, you know, something like I said, that's man-made or something that falls from the sky, like meteors, either one. Um, that's what the vision was. And so, uh, you all take this to the Lord in prayer yourself. I know a lot of brothers and sisters have had confirmations similar to this. And the way I look at it is I, I do think it lines up with the Bible and what it says about, um, about the, the great city and mystery Babylon and all of that, which a lot of people do correlate to New York, or at least it's starting there. But we know that the, uh, the great tribulation will be worldwide. And uh, a lot of people say, well, when the bombs go down, we'll go up. Indeed, perhaps this is a picture of that. But I never got to see like the dead in Christ rising or any of us floating up, you know, or anything like that, like a lot of rapture visions and dreams are. That was simply what it is. And, and like I said, I'm not going to add or subtract to it because it is what it is. And um, I'm sure that we'll talk real soon, guys. I'll keep you all posted on how Alex is doing. Um, they've still got one more biopsy to do of the lining of the bone in the arm, um, or that's where they've decided to take some, uh, you know, some of the lining there and to test that. And so it's going to tell us a whole lot and really tell us everything that we need to know as far as like how to proceed on this thing. So I appreciate your all's prayers and thank you all so much for your support of um, our family during this time as it's um, really shocking news when, when a doctor turns around and tells you something like that you need a referral to an oncology or, or to a cancer center. So um, thank you all so much. And, and I'm sure we'll talk real soon.